And now I'm joined by Steve Black, our tournament director, who has been commentating a couple matches with me today. I really appreciate you joining me on the mic and, and giving us your professional insights. I think we're in for another great match. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. We're so excited for all these matches. The crowd is really into it. They've treated to uh, four quarterfinal matches and now the second semifinal match. So it has been a long day of great racquetball matches. It has. We've seen some outstanding competition here today. Our first semifinal of the night was David Bobby Horn and Andre Padilla went to breaker 11-10, Horn winning. He will now play the winner of this match. Could it be Cardona or could it be Martel? Is it too early for you to place your wager, Steven, or you like to wait until? Well, last I checked, we're tied on the Slurpee bet. That's true. So, uh, good break to tie here. And, uh, you know, something's telling me I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the upset here and I might go with Jaime. Jaime really impressed me in his quarterfinal match, so I might I might go for that. All right. I might stick with Jaime here. I'd stick with Cardona. <laughs> Jaime Martel has the first point on the board. And I think it's going to be really important for both of these players to stay mentally strong. Uh, we see Martel kind of plays with that momentum, and that can really affect him. And, and same for Cardona. He's been having some trouble lately kind of closing out matches. Yeah, he's so tough, though. He's, he's just he's as tough as nails, like that shot right there. Perfect passing shot combined with a whole lot of power. Yeah, he's definitely the most powerful player on the WRT. He has some incredible drive serving, which I'm sure. Yeah, that and that. There, there it is right there, right as you said it, right into the dark corner in the sidewall glass where the carpet is black. And that makes it very difficult to return. Tough to see that gearbox black ball going in. Our referee was one of the semifinalists tonight, Andre Faria, the current number two on the WRT. Wow, now that we talk about flat rollouts, rollout. That was a flat rollout. And it Splat. was nice. Jaime looked like he kind of waited on it a little bit and was able to control that swing. That was, I thought it might have been a skip for a minute, but side wall into the front wall. Another nice rollout by Cardona. Yeah, it's tricky to see those when they just kind of raise that sidewall. Yeah. It's also hard when they're hitting it 170 miles an hour That's, to see anything. It's true. You got the speed, one of the fastest sports is racquetball, and it's, it's tough to see that ball when you got these pros wailing on it like they do. It's uh, back and forth, though. Nice pinch shot, reverse pinch shot. That's going to tie it up now for Jaime Martel, 2-2. Two, two. All right. Jaime keeps it alive with the back score. Great get by Jaime. Great splash shot. Yeah, Jaime ceiling ball really setting Cardona up. That's not something you want to do. Cardona able to capitalize on it. Yeah, and I, I've seen, you know, been watching Cardona, and he gets a setup deep in the court. He, he hits it so hard, he can splat him from deep, deep. Looks like Cardona's getting a little momentum here. Three serves, two. Alex Cardona, always known for his drive serving, he always goes for it on that first serve. He's got to be one of the most grateful players that we've always played with. <laughs> 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 
great kill shot from Jaime right down the line. But when you've got a weapon like a powerful drive serve, that's a real asset in, in this sport because you can put so much pressure on your opponent with a hard drive serve. Oh, great hands by Jaime. Just flicked his racket, right? Nice pinch shot right in the corner. Yeah, we saw a lot of that from him in the quarterfinals. He has some great reactions against Jose Daniel Ugalde, who was one of the fastest players. And he was able to beat him. To get Short ball. Jaime Martel is currently ranked number five on the WRT, and he's from Chihuahua, Mexico. Skip ball from Cardona gives Jaime another point. Yeah, Chihuahua, Mexico is a real hotbed for racquetball. I, I know uh, I play college racquetball. Lots and lots of uh, guys I played against who came to school. Javier Moreno and Nacho Bustillos. And even, and, uh, even our own Rafael Filippini played with him in college. Nice. Uh, side out for Cardona. It's back and forth. It's three serving five. Jaime Martel in the lead in game one. And we have seeds one, two, three, and four in our semifinals here today. Jaime Martel. Wow. Rocket serve. Rocket serve, just barely short. Wow. Nice shot from Jaime. Yeah, just Jaime another flat rollout. Looking really focused in game one so far. I think that's going to be key for him. Playing in the higher altitude here at the Sports Mall in Salt Lake City, Utah. Keeps that ball fast. As if it could be any faster. <laughs> yeah, they don't need any they don't need any help speeding up the ball, but well, you know, it's a little thinner here. Yeah, so you provide the high altitude, then you throw that side glass wall at them with a with the black carpeting, see if they can lose that gearbox black ball <laughs> with the side glass. Great serve, just so tough for Jaime to get a handle on that serve. Forced a skip ball. Great down the line shot from Alex Cardona to tie it up 5-5. Five -five. Now you provided a great quote earlier from Marty Hogan about the down the line. And since then, I feel like I've just been seeing so many down the line <laughs> shots and it's been working. It's yeah. Been working for players today and it just worked for Cardona. Quick hands by Jaime again. He's so good on the re-kill. It's all tied up, 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. Perfect pinch shot from Cardona. Put him back in the service box. You know, it just gives you a whole new sense of, you know, most people who watch rap wouldn't even think about trying to get to a ball that is as low as the ball is on almost every hit. Yet uh, they get to it. That's why it's so exciting to have all these fans 
We've got people here who have never, ever seen this kind of racquetball. So nice to provide that for them and kind of give them the live show too. I mean, there's an experience from watching here live. It's a great experience as well. We're happy to be out in Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> Still 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. Let's see if Cardona can turn it on and create a little little separation here. Well, that serve was definitely good. I think Cardona kind of got hung up there. Looks like he got stuck and didn't react very quickly to the ball. Yeah, he was a little slow to get to that. Like maybe he thought it wasn't going to be a good serve. I thought maybe he slipped, or but as soon as he saw the ball come back, he tried to get it, but it was too late. Well, Jaime Martel calls a timeout, which means we're going to take a quick break too, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more live from Salt Lake City. Jaime Martel called the timeout and stepped out on the court. It's all about 5-5. Anything can happen in our last final of the day. The winner of this match will move on to the finals tomorrow. That's at 12 noon Mountain Time. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Plus, in 2016, we've been live streaming the doubles final. So stick around for that. All right, Laura, here we go. We're back at 5-5 with Jaime serving. Great shot from Jaime. Yeah, Cardona leaving that ball kind of high and Jaime Gives himself a six point. Ah, looked like he was going for the crack serve on the side wall. Just a little short on it. He's gonna have to try again. <laughs> Shot from Jaime. Again, Just going down the line. Down the line. Most effective shot in the game, straight down the line. I think he could feel Cardona kind of hanging out over there on the right side of the court, and it's so interesting to watch <laughs> players feel each other out there on the court. It's almost like at the last second you can feel where your opponent's going, so you know where to hit it. We got a broken ball. I thought these gearbox balls never broke. Never, never. never say they break never. once in a while, even. It happens. Is it? <laughs> Put us in these high altitude, high powered pro situations. <laughs> I mean, Martel, back to serving. Six, six five. bounces, nice pinch shot from Jaime, and that's going to give him another point. Jaime's making a move. A little short again. Jaime seems to be trying to get this serve that's coming in at a little different angle than we've seen, but getting closer every time. <laughs> Tough shot from Cardona. Yeah, Alex Cardona is such a well-rounded player. Well, he's another one who seems to almost never change his composure right. on the court. You're absolutely right. It's hard to get an emotion out of him. <laughs> Pressing buttons to do so. Wow, now that serve right there looked like it slides. Some, we've had racquetball players in, in the past who hit serves so hard it looks like the ball hits a wet spot. 
and that's sort of what that serve looked like. But Jaime picked it up, put it away. Great angle by Cardona. Just swung with such determination, like he knew he was going to put that ball away, too. Yep. Confident strokes. I often ask Cardona if he ever feels like he has a target on his back, being the number one. He always says no, but I think these players are really starting to see what things start to change around. Great get by Jaime. Another incredible get by Jaime. Great shot. That's a great so, rally. Yeah. Jaime Martel. Some great gets from both these players. Definitely keeping us entertained. Well, you watch this long enough. You know, when we started the quarterfinals today and all, all these spectators, they they would see a rally like that and they would all clap. Now, it happens so often. They're getting used. They're getting yeah, they spoiled. They expect it, yeah. They expect constant diving and incredible tough shots. Yeah. <laughs> We're spoiling them now. That's just a perfect serve. Jaime drilled it right into the corner. Cardona couldn't tell which way it was going to go and ended up being an ace. Alex Cardona calling a timeout. We're going to take a quick break as well, but we'll be back with more from the Rocky Mountain Open. We're back as Alex Cardona calls that timeout. Jaime Martel been playing really strong so far in game one and leading right now. Just out of reach for Jaime Martel. Cardona back in the service box. Okay, so now we've got Hard to hear the ref. We'll double check it and make sure we get it right here. Ooh. That was what you call a perfectly executed uh -huh. jam serve. Yes, yeah, certainly jammed him up. Just yeah. right into his body, and obviously Jaime couldn't do anything with that ball. So we got the score straightened out at six serving nine. Cardona looking to get back in it. It's all starting with his tough serving. Yeah, he's he's noticeably hitting his serves harder than it is. He's making a few errors though in this first game that's given Jaime the edge. All right, Jaime serving. Just an incredible shot by Jaime right there. After some incredible gets by Cardona, Jaime pinches it perfectly right into the corner. Some great racquetball so far this evening. The winner goes on to play David Horn tomorrow in the final. It all starts at 12. Great get. Wow, what a great get by Jaime. Looked like he got it. I think the ref called, said he got it too. He does. I don't have thought maybe he didn't, that's but that's going to be 11 points for Jaime Martel. You know, really Jaime's taking it right to now. him. Yep, he's, he's re-killing the ball. He's finally got that serve coming across the line that we talked about. He said everyone was improving. <laughs> wow, just a great, great executed pinch shot from well behind him. He's putting so much pressure on Cardona, he's going to take a quick timeout. All right, out. time out for Cardona. We'll be right back with more from Salt Lake City.
Alex Cardona calling the timeout as Jaime Martel leads now 12-6. Well, Cardona's got to make a move and get back in this thing or he's going to be down a game really fast. <laughs> Cardona's just leaving the ball up enough for Jaime to have great opportunities, and Jaime's taking advantage of him, putting the ball away. He's on top of his game right now, 13-6. Perfect ace. What a serve from Jaime Martel for his first game point opportunity now. Yep, he's been trying and trying and trying. He's got that serve dialed in now. Quick. That's a great kill shot. Right up in the left corner for a pinch from Cardona. said it's eight serving 14. All right, now's the time, Cardona. Turn it on. Now that is a rocket serve right there. That's an ace, another ace for Alex Cardona. What a 14. serve. It's one of the best serves I've seen him hit. Jaime, pretty much left Jaime standing still. I think Jaime thought that was short. Not agreeing with that call, but that's going to give Cardona 10. He's right there. We saw some incredible comebacks in the first uh, semi. Oh, that's a tough angle. He switched up his serve, caught Jaime a little bit off guard, and he's got 11 points. Amazing how it just starts switching that momentum really quickly. Let's see if Jaime can side out Alex Cardona. Good shot from Jaime. Gives him another chance at game one. Game point number two for Jaime Martel. Oh, tough break for Jaime. Got off balance and ended up trying to hit a shot while laying across the floor. And uh, see if Cardona can put together a, another string of points. Yeah, Cardona able to turn it on once the pressure got to 14. Wow, that was another, I almost want to call that a photon serve, but it just looks like it hits a wet spot. He's, he's definitely heated up that serve now. It's an incredible serve. It's going to give him 12 against Jaime's 14. A little short on that one. Great shot from Jaime. Smart shot. He's going to take a timeout to get himself ready to try to pull out this game. Probably a smart timeout for Jaime as well. We'll be back to see if Jaime can close it out on his third game point opportunity. Fourteen. You better be careful. Cardona's been chipping away. It was 14-8. And now Jaime's got another chance to finish the game. He just needs one. Two bounces. Cardona hanging in there. He is. This is what we want to see from our number one, too. Able to hold on and side him out. Let's see if he scores in this round. 12-14. 
On the line shot from Jaime, just had enough pace on it to keep it out of reach from Cardona. Perfectly executed. Game point number four for Jaime Martel. Wow, what a return. That was a great serve by Jaime. It definitely would not have come off the back wall and Cardona got to it and just ripped it for a winner. This is crazy. 12 serving 14. Oh, Cardona gets the crack. It up a little bit. It looks like that was a little like he slowed it down a little bit, took some speed off. Yep, took some speed out of it, caught the caught the crack on the side wall. If I'm not mistaken, that gives him 13. 13 14. Wow. Still looks like the ball hits a wet spot when he serves that. Such a fast serve. But yeah, I didn't think he was going to get to that ball, and he did. And, and Jaime's got another chance. His fifth game point against Alex Cardona in game one of our second semifinal. Some outstanding matches all day today. All day. Every, every one of them was amazing. Super competitive, and yeah. Jaime switches it up. Lob serve. He's got to try to and Cardona signs him out again. Him out again. It's back and forth. The drama is building in this first game. Oh man, 13-14. Short ball. Serve 13-14. Wow! Perfectly placed oh shot from by Jaime down the line. Nothing Cardona could do. And Jaime must be thinking to himself, "All right, for the fifth time, fifth or sixth time, let's get this done." Get ball, and that does it for game one. 13, Jaime Martel wins. An incredible game one. I can't wait to see what's in store for us in game two. So don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. for Jaime Martel keeping that momentum on his side. One serve, zero. Another point 
for Jaime Martel. going to make it 3-0 in game two already. Martel just really taking that momentum back into game two. Steve Black back with us on the mic. That's the Cardona kill shot, pass shot we we're used to. have a couple roles here as we got you on the mic commentating. You've been running around as the tournament director as well. well. I've been running around as tournament director, Aaron runner, referee, <laughs> and father. My daughter just walked in and she's wanted to hit some balls. Oh, so very nice. So you snuck over there. And it's a little of everything. is actually one, two, three. These guys gotta wipe down the court. We saw that a lot in our first semifinal. It's warm in here. There's a lot of racquetball happening all around the club. Courts are pretty warm. These guys are working hard. Looks like it's one, two. One, two, and this is Cardona's game. He needs this one to push it to a tiebreaker. Be interesting to see if <laughs> today. Yeah, our other semifinal, 10 11 tiebreaker. Oof, intense. Just a great way to open up the evening. <laughs> great get by Jaime. Great passing shot by Cardona right there. Cardona. Alex definitely has a little extra something on the ball. A little extra power. Definitely, and when he's kind of camped out there in the middle, he just has free range. He can do whatever he wants. Jaime Martel does a great job, though, of scooping up balls and diving around the court to keep those points alive. Absolutely. And neither one of them looks like they're breathing very hard. I played in this court about two hours ago. Felt like I was hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in to be uh, 22, 24. <laughs> and on the Pro Tour. Wow, that's a tough serve. Right down the side, forehand side. Caught the side wall. Cardona the point, 2-2. Two, two. Great down the line shot from Cardona, perfectly placed right along the wall. Four points now. Four points. Hard to hear the rest. That shot was all the way behind Jaime. He reached back and hit a great kill shot. Kill shot, pinch shot up in the front left corner. But uh, what you saw in that rally was a behind the back kill shot from uh, Cardona that is about, hit about as hard as some of the rest of us hit it, but he hit it behind his back.
perfect Z serve by Jaime. Just caught the wall and unretrievable. Martell is leading again, five serving four. by Cardona, hit it into the open court. Uh, got it past Jaime on that one. <laughs> kind of feel like Jaime's on a mission this tournament. Oh, He's been sure. really dialed in. You know, if Jaime can get himself through to the finals, an opportunity for him to win his first ever WS. He's been to the finals before, but he hasn't won a title yet. Meanwhile, Alex Cardona has the most titles on the WRT with 11. 11 titles. Yeah, 11 titles. He's the most. Great passing shot. Gives Cardona another point. And Cardona now in the lead. We see a little shift in power, 6-5. Another broken oh. ball. Yeah, it's got to be tough with some of the um, some of the different elements up here, like the high altitude. Well, we're still keeping a consistent average of one ball per game. That's right. One broken ball per game. These guys are hitting it and fast. Some of the fastest serving that has been here all day at Sports Mall in Salt Lake City, Utah. Six serving five. We need to get the speed gun out. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to get it. One great get, followed up by almost another one. So it looks like these, these guys do sweat then. <laughs> it's true. They make they it look so hard. easy, but they're yeah. working hard. They disguise if they're in any pain at all right now. But they are sweating. They're working hard in our semifinals. They're working because the winner is hoping to be in the finals tomorrow to face David Bobby Horn. That all starts at 12 p.m. Mountain Time. We are here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We also provide the streaming of the doubles final. You can watch that right after the singles final. And it all starts at noon Mountain Time. Noon tomorrow, the final. See if Jaime Martel can tie it up. He is ahead one game. Good advantage for Jaime Martel. Uh, smart shot from Alex. He saw Jaime in the back and just kind of took a little pace off the ball and dumped it right up in the front court. Kill shot for Cardona. Puts him up by two now, seven serving five. Second serve for Cardona.
great passing shot from Alex. Right down the line. I believe gives him another point. That makes it eight for Alex Cardona. Wow. A lot of power in that sh passing shot. Jaime was looking for a screen on that serve, but didn't get it. And Cardona just hit a really powerful passing shot. Another shift in momentum for this semifinal as Alex Cardona now leads by four points. Jaime is going to take a timeout. Calling that timeout. See if he can switch things around. We'll be right back in a moment. Smart shot from Jaime, great pinch shot. Gets exactly what he wants out of that timeout. He broke some momentum and he answers back with a side out. Oh, that's tough. shot from Jaime, that's a point for Jaime, so that will push him up to six points. Six to nine. Let's see if it's Jaime's Here comes Jaime. for a run. Well, that right there is a perfect example of why he skipped that ball. It, it went right into that corner, came out, and I couldn't even see it from up here, so he, he must have had a hard time seeing that one and forced the skip. Another point for Jaime, two points in a row after he got his side out. Great shot from Alex. Nice passing shot that caught the side wall. No chance for Jaime off the back wall there. Nine serve seven. Wow. Well, I'm amazed about a few things in that rally. Right, yeah. <laughs> Let's I mean, break that down. That just the fact that that serve was returned is amazing. And then the gets and the dives in that rally. Just, just an incredible rally. Yeah, that fast reaction for Alex Cardona between the legs and then Jaime chasing it down. Nine times out of 10, that serve is a clean ace. Folks are enjoying the show. We've had a lot of tough matches this weekend. If you want to check out the draw, you can do that on R2 Sports. You can also go to the bit.ly backslash WRT SLC draw. The SLC is for Salt Lake City. I made back in the serving box. <laughs> Two bounces. Great return from Alex. Seems like uh, he's been hitting that serve now a little more often. Alex is getting more used to it. He definitely was ready for that one. Skip ball from Jaime. Cardona enters double digits now with 10 serving seven. Had some people complaining a little earlier. <laughs> Sounds like a shotgun every time they hit the ball, so definitely draws the attention. Jaime yeah. might be hurt. Oh no, did he go down on that I knee? Think, I think he did. 
really wincing in pain, limping, and I, I sure hope he's all right. I think he's going to go ahead and take call a timeout. a timeout, see if he can analyze that situation. I hope he's okay. Could be a calf. I think he has a previous injury. We'll, we'll be right back with more. Don't go anywhere. We're back after Jaime Martel seemed to do something to his calf. He's back out there on the court. No <laughs> See how he moves out there. Hopefully it was just a cramp. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Ah. Double fault. We don't see a double fault very often. or not if if Jaime is uh, you know if that injury is affecting his play yet looks like he's hanging in there pretty well seven serves 11 skip balls good serve by Jaime there's a point for Jaime time out by Alex We'll be right back in just a moment, so don't go anywhere. We have more live from Salt Lake City. So it'll be really interesting to see what Jaime Martel can do. He was behind in a little bit of the first game as well, as Cardona caught back up. Well, as we've seen throughout this day, no lead is safe. We've had a lot That's of true. close matches, a lot of comebacks, and uh, let's see if Jaime can Get back in the second game. Great serve. That was a great, great serve. Perfectly placed. Bounced twice before it ever came off the back wall. Puts him in a much better position. It's 9-11. Another nice serve from Mattel up against that side glass wall. Uh, that pushes him up to 10 points. Oh, what a shot. Just a great shot by Jaime there. That's going to tie it up 11-11. 11-11. There we go. This is crazy. It's a brand new second game. Jaime four points away from the match. Good position for Jaime Martelli. Needs to stay focused. Side out, 11-11 still. <laughs> Just a rocket serve by Cardona and a rare, a rare unforced error there, missing on the ceiling ball. Very interesting. Maybe not the best time for that. No. <laughs> I mean. Side out. 11-11, Cardona serving.
Side out for Jaime. Oof. He's back in it. 11-11. Keeping it really tight for these semifinals. It's so hard to predict who will move on to the finals. We had another tough semifinal when David Bobby Horn faced off against Andre Padilla. That one going to break her. And Horn winning 11-10. Some incredible racquetball today. I might take this opportunity during this towel break here to, to mention that you're probably feeling very nervous right now about our Slurpee bet. <laughs> Yeah, anything can happen right you now. Know, my money, my Slurpee is on Alex Cardona. Yeah, and you're four points away from, from uh, having to cash that in. We'll see. I don't want to count my chips too early. Anything can happen. That's what I like to say, Steve. Anything can happen on the WRT. Here we go with Jaime serving. Tied up. Uh, he left that serve up just enough for Alex to get to wind up and kill it. So side out for Alex and 11-11 still. You know, it's just that that whole side out right there is a credit to Jaime's retrieving ability because how he's getting to these drive serves is, is really just unbelievable. Those serves are so hard and so fast. They're not coming off the back wall, but he's getting to them, getting them back, and then getting himself in the rally. It's the wow. one-two punch. That's the bread and butter from Jaime right there. Alex Cardona. Looking to see, he does have a second timeout. He's going to use it as Jaime Martel jumps in the game. 12 11. We'll be right back. Jaime Martel stepping back out onto the court. We're getting Alex Cardona out there. Jaime Martel in the lead, 12-11. It's a fantastic semifinal. I mean, what fun matches to watch. Yeah, and, and it, it's just, uh, we just expect great matches now. Every single one of these we expect uh, uh, neck back and forth, back and forth, and Great gets, diving, lots of power. So everyone's definitely very entertained. It's been very rare today that any of our matches saw like a, a huge <laughs> great competition this weekend. Full draw. Three players in the draw. Wow, Alex decided he had the open court. He decided to go the other way. Hit a great shot and kind of kind of surprised Jaime a little bit, but it bounced twice so fast it didn't matter anyway. Short serve. Oh, I mean, skip. missing on the big splat shot on the forehand side. That puts us at 12-12. Again, Ooh. the drama. Keeping it high. Almost as high as the altitude. <laughs> There's Jaime with those quick hands again. He's got those quick hands and those great pinch shots up front. We've talked about how composed Alex Cardona normally is. And he's starting to show a little frustration now. And there's a lot of pressure. Like you said, the drama is high. It's 12-12. 12-12. I think Jaime feels like if he can break through this 12-12 tie, he's going <laughs> to There it is. It's going to be a lot of confidence going into it right now. It's 13-12. <laughs> Jaime Martel playing really well. We've seen a lot of improvement from him on the tour over the last year and a half, two years, as he's really been focused on his professional career now. That well, Alex needed that. He couldn't afford to have this thing be 14-12, and now he's 
Got himself back in the service box with a 12 to 13 score. Let's see what he can do. He's going to be able to tie it up this time. Wow, that was unbelievable. Nice serve, ties it up. And I think that was called, sh no, was it? Was the ball broken? Oh, they called a wet ball. No point for Alex. Wow. Wow. Okay, hmm. a wet ball then. And a couple twists. Well, that worked out in Jaime's favor there. That was a clean ace by Alex. And uh, Jaime ends up getting the side out after the replay. Very interesting. I'll have to go for a second serve. Questionable call. Looks like it was called good. Yeah, I saw it good. It looked good for me. But I do have a Slurpee on it, so. I'm not sure how safe your Slurpee is right now. <laughs> what a shot by Jaime. He really just willed that ball across court with a lot of power. Such an intense semifinal. It'd be really interesting to see if he score here. He had trouble closing out in game one against Alex Cardona. So far, this match has gone on for an hour and 10 minutes. It's been a really tight game two. We're no stranger to long matches today. No, we're not. I think our average runtime is around 130, 120. All right, Jaime, here we go. kind of guessed wrong on that. By the time he figured out where it was, it was too late. Another great rally. Another down the line. I hope Marty Hogan's listening to this. Just incredible. I got to go watch some of his videos now. 14. Great oh, hands. Oh, wow. Jaime Martel with the great hands to end it. 15-12, upsetting number one, Alex Cardona. That is just outstanding. We're gonna send it down to the court in just a moment where Joe Napodi is gonna talk to our competitors. All right, we're down with Joe. Okay, I'm here with your winner, Jaime Martel, of our second semifinal match. And I know the people at home, they probably don't uh, realize this, but it's so humid in there. How bad did that affect you playing this game? I don't affect anything to me. No? <laughs> you're, just, <laughs> you're just Superman in there. It is so hot when I go in there. It was so hot, I just can't imagine how you guys were running around and stuff, but congratulations. It was a tremendous match. Did you, you were so close. Did you, do you think you were gonna pull it out in two games or go a tiebreaker? Actually, I didn't think that I can win. Really, really? I just came to the court and play, just that. 
Well, you played magnificently. Thanks to uh, my sponsor, Gearbox, Reaching Your Dream Foundation, and my uh, friend, Tim Bagrus, who's helped me all this weekend. Thank okay. you. All right, there's your winner, Jaime Martel. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow uh, in the finals. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. The finals are at noon right here from the Sports Mall in Murray, Utah. We'll have an awards presentation plus so much more. Tell your friends, don't forget to follow the WRT on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as Gearbox.com. We'll see you tomorrow nine, uh, at noon. I'm Joe Napodi for the WRT. Good night.